Hey guys, wanted to show you the bag that I carry with me in the trunk of my car and that's always there. I don't consider it a Bob bag, I don't consider it a survival bag, I just consider it a basic first aid bag. I consider it a bag that can uh, provide, again, basic necessities if anything should come up. I don't carry food in this because the distance that I travel, for example, to work is about eight miles from my house. Uh, when I'm at school, that is different. Uh, I go to Kelsey Fullerton and the school is about 40 miles from where I live. So maybe I should carry some sort of snack or food, but uh, the fact is that I leave my car out in the parking lot the whole day and the food can get spoiled. If I were to take an emergency food, it would have to be uh, one MRE bag that I have um, the rest I keep stored away but uh, yeah so I just wanted to show you some of the things that I carry with me in the car and uh, to start off I carry this knife um, that I never carry it on my person one because it's illegal here in California and second because I think that having a full tank um, fixed blade is very important to do cutting tasks. I bought this blade in Arizona um, a while back when we were there on vacation and uh, there's it's a no-name brand some guy had just done it custom made and uh, cost about 30 bucks he said I forgot what kind of wood this is but he said that this was a um, deer antler so that's pretty nice it's a nice knife has uh, some design there on the on the spine of the of the blade and uh, it's great overall very comfortable and it came with a leather sheath here very nice as well so on to the bag here in the front I I just put there a basic first aid um, booklet I guess that shows you um, and tells you examples and explains what to do in certain situations burns chemical burns, if someone's unconscious, any sorts of things. So just if someone were to uh, find my bag or if I were to give my bag to somebody uh, to help, uh, they would know at least what to do in some situations. The first bag that I carry here is um, a bag that includes two ponchos, two emergency blankets, although I think, no actually that's wrong, it's four emergency blankets here and two ponchos. What I did is I, I bought uh, these sandwich bags just to keep everything organized and, and together. You know, so I'm not going to have any batteries here. I'm not going to have any flashlights or uh, that sort of stuff. So I have that here. Uh, the next bag include hand warmers. Uh, there's one pouch of water here and an emergency uh, sign. There's two emergency signs. These are just some of the signs that come with uh, kits that you buy. For example, I bought a kit uh, that had to do with earthquake preparedness at Big Five, and it came with a sign that just said "Help, please, uh, please call 911" or something like that. So that's just these are just some extras that I have on the side. The next bag includes band aids, alcohol pads, ointments, and all sorts of stuff. It's just a variety of different uh, band aids that can be used. I have that. The next bag includes um, gloves and some gauze. So there's two pairs of gloves here and just some basic uh, gauze to stop any bleeding or um, protect any wounds from infection. This last bag is the one that has a bunch of uh, miscellaneous items and I'll show them to you right now. So here on the, on, on the outside of the, of the bag I wrote, uh, there's a whistle, there's matches, uh, waterproof matches, batteries, sports bandage, and cotton sticks. And I'll show you some of the items from the inside. Uh, this is a waterproof container that has some waterproof matches inside. Um, and then there's a striker, a ferrule striker down here that you can also use. These are some basic matches, non-waterproof, and some waterproof matches. I also have spare batteries here for the flashlights that I have and um, 
So I have four AA batteries and uh, one CR123 in this one. But I also have uh, three more uh, spare CR123 batteries. I carry just a cheap whistle uh, with uh, that has a little peanut inside. The little P, sorry about that. The little P inside. And this is one of those uh, Phoenix uh, flashlight. Uh, what do you call it? Um, it just when you when you put it on top of a of a Phoenix flashlight or any flashlight that fits here, it just spreads out the light and, and makes it even throughout the room, almost like a lantern. So let's let's set these things aside. Now, from one of the old MRE bags that I opened and uh, and ate the contents inside, I saved the little pouch that came inside. So there's a Tabasco sauce in here, some instant coffee, um, a bit of tissue, some gum, uh, creamer, non-dairy. Uh, there's a small uh, pack of paper matches there, and this is still sealed. It's vacuum sealed. Haven't hasn't been opened. I carry extra um, bandage tape. Just I don't know. You can use it for various things. Carry just some tissue, basic tissue. I also have this uh, sports uh, bandage to wrap around an ankle or wrist or just anything that may need it. Now, like I said in uh, earlier videos, that I usually carry flashlights with me wherever I'm at. In my car, I have three flashlights. Now, I use the cheap flashlights to store in my car. You know, you never know if your car is going to be stolen or if the heat or the cold is going to mess up the batteries and if they're going to leak inside. So, the some of the first flashlights that I bought when I started collecting them uh, were pretty cheap. They were bought like at Target, Walmart, and um, so in my car, in the in the glove compartment. I have a mini mag light that uses two AA batteries and in the emergency bag I carry this long uh, mag light that uses three AA batteries and there's only one mode to it it's not I mean I, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's that bright it's fine you know you can adjust the, the focus to it the beam but it's not gonna do any wonders for you I keep this in the bag as well and then the last item uh, it's a life gear flashlight. This really has to be one of the worst flashlight brands that I've owned before. It's just, it sucked. Uh, the beam is, is, is ugly. It's sometimes, it, even though it has new batteries, um, it won't turn on. Even though everything's tightened up, it's clean. I don't know. I just, either it's this flashlight or, or what, but I'm not happy with it. And, um, yeah, so let me show you the bag. This is just a, uh, Dura belt bag that I bought at I bought at Target and this was the smallest bag and there came another big one where I used to um, I used the big one to store my tools and it, it does have these two handles here but I ended up attaching a um, just like a, a camera um, shoulder shoulder holster um, just so I could have the ability and the the option to to carry it around uh, my shoulder or Cross it uh, across my chest, just so that I can have both hands free. So that's it, guys. If you have any uh, suggestions or um, any ideas of what stuff I can maybe change out or what things I should carry, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll greatly uh, uh, appreciate that, and I'll probably incorporate it into my uh, my bag. So I'm sure some of you have more experience than I do, and more um, more wisdom in what that I can. Uh, I, I could surely use and um, yeah thanks again for watching take it easy guys